Right, I'm back in uh, Cambridge, down the Woolpack. Um, with that float of fish, sort of like success last week. There is another one to have, a real mega apple slice scaly one. That does go over 40, but this year she's spawned right out. So she's like uh, maybe about 34 now. I'd like, I want to catch it, I will catch it hopefully, right, yeah, but I don't want to catch it at a low weight. So anyway, I've come out Monday, like got up at four o'clock on the road by 25 past four. I've checked a few lakes right here, yeah, uh, happening now. Uh, six lakes, and it's about nine o'clock now, half nine. Um, back on like lake five, six, found them fizzing in close, but I walked into the swim and uh, I could smell them. Yeah, everyone thinks that's a joke. I was on the phone to Sean Leverett, garden smell carp. Anyways, I walked in, um, got, the, got the whiff right, yeah, and then one stuck its head out, and then I noticed all the fizzing going on. Now it seems to be about 10, 12 yards to about 25 yards out. Um, I've chucked three long running chods out there, all got soft drops, slackened them off. I put no freebies out here because the sun's coming up and it's like I'm right at the end of maybe I might have a few hours left, right? Yeah, while it's still coming over the trees and it's still got shade on here. The odd one's on the top, but they're still fizzing. Um, I don't want to really disturb them. So hopefully there's a chance of a bite in here. Like I've been telling, there's only about 24 carp in here and I'm doing really well so far. Apart from the sheep shaggers in the main swim, right? Yeah, um, that was what I was on about the other week. I'll tell you about that, but I don't really want to get into too much about it. It just does my head in. People jumping on your back, got no respect. Um, anyway, you got told he's known as a sheep shagging follower now. So there you go. Anyway, I'm going to show you, I've just got the rods laying on the deck. So they're all like in the clips, everything's checked. So the new vision line, because it's fluorocarbon, has a tendency to sort of go where you don't want it, spring off a spool and that. So I put them in clips right here so I know um, there's no problems. Laying on the floor, clutch your set, slack, mega slack lines as you can see. And the fish are just over here. It seems to sort of come and go. Um, a minute ago they were all over all three rods, but like I said, they're just singles out there. But what I've done is cast um, like way past and then reeled it across the top, just a little, like another little ledge, and then like just gently let it go down over the top. There's one fizzing there, look. Can I pick it up? It's bright. You might be able to see it here somewhere. Is that it there? Anyway, that's sort of near the middle rod. There's another one here as well. Just there, uh, really discreet now. And again, one of them's got to pull tight. So anyway, I've got away with it, like uh, dropping three run long running chods in, small leads, about an ounce. No need for any bigger. We're only using a chod rig, you only need the lead to get it out there. It does nothing to do with hooking. It's just to get the rig out there because it's like a free line running rig. So why do you need a massive lead when they're in close and they are in close? Come on, one of these rods rock off. Also as well, um, got plenty of floaters, I've got a sack with me, so 20 kilo sack, so uh, covered on that. Um, like I said, I've seen um, evidence of fish on the top as well. Look, there's one there, look. Can you see it? Cheeky kid. Just through them reeds. Every time I try and uh, get some something like that on the footage, right? Yeah, this time it just... they're not playing the game. So uh, yeah, we're I think we're now is it second? Well, it's Monday. I think second of um, it's either first or second of September. Um, it's going to be I think tomorrow. Sunny today, rainish, dull conditions tomorrow. And then sun again, high pressure coming back in. So with the success I had last week, um, 
excuse the pun, shit conditions, float fishing in winds, rain, etc, etc, right, yeah, and having 8 to £40 pound for, um, hopefully, I might be able to squeeze one out of here, but I do like a floater, but it is really tricky in here, it's tricky, it's tricky at the best of times on the bottom, 24 carp, another fizzer close in there, they're just going around, hopefully they'll like pick one of these, because they know what this bait is, I'll probably put a best side of 200 kilos in here now, so, uh, happy days. Come on, I want one of them rods to go. Got a bit of cloud cover at the moment, so just prolongs, prolongs uh, bottom fishing even more, but you just don't know. These sort of lakes can happen in the middle of the day. It's happened before with me. Let's get a bite. They're now fizzing on the middle rod now. It's a massive fizz out there. Come on. I'm going to go and sit by these rods and watch this. One just top right there. Got my fizzing out here now. Don't know if you can see, pick it up, I'll try and get into it. Yeah, look, right there, see it? That's near my right hand rod. Look at it, it's going off like, sorry about the camera. It's going off mental. Look at that there, it's going off like a jacuzzi, feeding up for the winter time, so you know like September, October, some of the best feeding bite situations you can get into now, as they lay down reserves for the winter. These are the things I'm looking for. One just rolled there a little while ago. Boss right over that big fizzer. Nice mirror that was. Christ, it's got to happen soon. You ain't going to believe this. I was a bit lost today. I've done six lakes before I found them. I'm all over Cambridge and uh, I missed a couple of nice ones. But I got this one there. Uh, if it's the one I think it is, it's called Slope. It ain't been out for three years. And it's uh, off the top. £40 too. So, happy days. Oh shit. Don't know what's going on here. Right. If this is the one, it hasn't been out for three years. And it's called the Slope. Out of the wall pack. Lake five and six, <coughs> out of five. And uh, it's taken on a floater, it's 40 a pound two. Go ahead and turn it off and I'll do the other side. On. Next cast, and we have a lever of uh, 23 pound 12 ounce. On a floater in September, there you go. Happy days. <laughs> oh. That's it. Can't Size. Can't it. Nice lever, innit? I get one, mate. Don't worry about it. Better where you are, so you can get closer, you know, front, straight in front of you. Same tactics as before. Right in the edge, this one though, right close. Happy days, all right? On margin. Sam. Do you want to turn it off for us? That's it, mate. That's on, that. Right, well, I was trying to do a recap. These rods had only been out about not even an hour, and I put four good four kilo over three rods, and uh, well. When you see this, it's going to blow your brains. Anyway, it pulled tight, and it's one that ain't been out for a while, and it's called uh, the Pink Tip Common, and it's uh, 33 pounds. It's just like a bar of charcoal. Look at that. <laughs> just unreal. I don't mind even saying this myself, I'm on fire. It's just mental fishing. There you go. This ain't been out for a while, this one, a few years now. 
pop out. Look at it, it's just black. Wallpack, Lake 56 original on a long running chod with sticky baits new krill and it's like proper ripping this water apart there's 24 carp in here roughly and this is mega rolled look at that heat of the day or the evening bang there you go to the other side come on do you want a bit of water? yeah please look at that I mean, they're you look at the barbels on it, even the barbels are black. Look. Here's the other side. Super sharp hook on a sticky baits krill pop up soaked in uh, liquid krill. Happy days. So, uh, look at the head on it, it's mental. Just turn it that way. So, uh, there you go. Happy days. Right, that is... That's it, we're done. Morning, all. Sorry I was trying to do a, like, a vlog last night, but um, after getting that rod out, I was rudely uh, interrupted by a take from a real old black one, as you saw in the video footage. Um, just opened my eyes up, and I'll show you some real light fish in a minute. But they're working uh, at the moment, two of the spots. But as soon as I opened my eyes, one rolled out, I got straight out another look and then it's like just come alive. They're all here now. It can only be a matter of time before I get a bait. This bait is just, well, it's not just a bait, my style of fishing, my approach. Here we go, I'm away. Well, the culprit is one I had off the top, that leathery one, two days later. So I've had it off the top and on the bottom, there he is. Twice in two days. Oh well, I'm not going to get him out, I'm just going to let him go. I can't believe it's every time I want to talk to you, I'll get a bloody bite. Funny old game this carp fishing. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, both times I tried to have a chat with you, and the rod's gone. Anyway, like I just said, it's a bazaar. I had it off the top two days ago at 2312, it's a leather. Car fishing is just unbelievable sometimes. There ain't many fish in here, but who'd, who'd believe you'd catch the same fish off the top, then off the bottom for two days from a very, very low stock, tricky water? Uh, knowing that one, so I've had a bite on the left hand, two from there actually, um, and then because the other one was a small one, and then the other one was off in the middle rod, so they've been fizzing on all of them this morning. <clears throat> and yesterday <clears throat> so with all the fizzing I thought right I'll just put some more bait out as soon as I put some bait out they've just started fizzing behind the right hand one it's just mental they, didn't, they did this yesterday morning and then they come back <clears throat> and then they disappeared it's just like uh, unreal really no it's all the lines are slack Bobbins hanging down, so the lines are out the way. New vision, fluorocarbon, rock and sinks like a brick. Be out now, uh, out soon on the market. Tips are up. We all know why I do that. As they pull the line tight, the rod compresses, sets the hook, hits the clutch, or hits the clip first, hits the clutch. And what I've got them in a clip is so I know that fluorocarbon isn't round. Like places like here, the roller like round here so just make sure each one's checked here again and here again so I know it's not caught up the bank sticks are just vision storm sticks see the snag ears as well just got to make sure that that clutch is not screwed up it's a it's a bit of a balance and you'll be surprised how tight you can do it with the tips or the, sorry, the butts on the deck. But the line's got to be, you want the line out of the way. But when this line hits the bottom, it's so heavy, it's like a sunken back lead, is what I call it. And uh, it just eats into the bottom in the weed and the silt, so it's out of harm's way. As the carp then picks up the slack line, bang. 
he hits a hell of a lot of re resistance. Looks like they've moved slightly to my right. There's one up there just stuck his head out. I see a jacuzzi up there a minute ago. Yeah, there's one there now. Unreal. Hopefully they'll come back round here. I've got no work today. I've got a tuition tomorrow, which I fitted in for the first week of September, which is naughty for Uncle Jim, because I'm supposed to have two months my fishing. But um, there you go. Life's a bitch, isn't it? When you're in demand, you've got to, can't keep letting everyone off, um, everyone down. So uh, they all want the knowledge. So I'll try and fit as many of them as I can. I mean, the first week of October, it's just like I've given all four days away. But it's like, what do you do? It's wages, isn't it, you know? So uh, I thought, right, do that. And then after that, the next three weeks, I've got three days my fishing, one day tuition. One just stuck its head out down there. Don't know what's about with me this morning. Maybe I've got a cold coming. That'd be great, wouldn't it, eh? Um, hopefully I've got this ticket right, yeah. I don't want to say too much in case I'm let down. Um, but it's a, it's a big one. And uh, I'm sort of gagging to get on there. Start next. I think I'm going to go Sunday so I get five nights in. But I'll have to do some somewhere else. I think it's a three-day rule. I'm not sure, though. So uh, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. Like I said, it's a big one. Same tactics will apply. Loads of bait. Load it up, find them, cast to them, bait them, catch them, and it'll just be trodding in the dirty, weed and silt. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of silt if there ain't no weed. So, uh, there you go. Right, I'm going to have another coffee. I'm not going to sneeze in a minute. God knows what's the matter with me. I hope I ain't got some virus coming down. Location is always the key. Now, this swim. It's getting fish, sod all. And hopefully you'll see one in a minute. But there's uh, several rolling just out there on the far bank there. Just see a lovely head just come out, big old kipper. Right. Come on. There's no fizz in there. I've seen a bit like from down the lake. I'm not gonna move because they will come back to me. And they ain't all up here. She's hooking that one, it's probably pushed him away a bit. But I keep getting fizzes every now and then. Some ripples there, someone's topped that way. What I missed off that true bush over the far bank. Like I keep telling you, right, yeah? It ain't about what swim you're in, it's about being in the right area where the fish are. Be the best swim on the lake, you ain't gonna catch them if they ain't there. And most of the time, right, yeah, the campers are sitting in swims like this, right, yeah. Just camping away. And the carp, yeah, okay, they visit at times, but... They go to blazers like this to get away from the therapy of us carp bangers. And even if you ain't seeing them here, just prepping an area. Just discreetly. For like a backup plan for next time or the time after. There you go. Typical one just topped as I was looking the other way. Out there, see the ripples? It's a nice mirror of gold, it's really golden or chestnutty, sorry. 